Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, is known for her ability to cause both joy and havoc in the lives of mortals and other gods alike. One such instance of her meddling in the lives of the immortals was when she placed a curse upon the goddess Eos, causing her to fall in love with a train of mortals. Eos, also known as the goddess of the dawn, was a beautiful and radiant deity who was often depicted as the bringer of the new day. She was known for her romantic pursuits, but it was Aphrodite's curse that caused her to become infatuated with a series of mortal men. The first mortal that Eos fell in love with as a result of Aphrodite's curse was Orion, a great huntsman and a handsome young man. Eos became enamored with him and the two had a passionate affair. However, their love was short-lived, as Orion was tragically killed by a scorpion sent by the jealous goddess Artemis. After the loss of Orion, Eos turned her affections to Tythonos, a mortal prince known for his beauty. The goddess was captivated by his youthful appearance and begged Zeus to grant Tythonos immortality so that they could be together forever. Zeus granted her request, but Eos failed to ask for eternal youth for Tythonos. As a result, he continued to age and eventually became so frail and old that he could no longer move or speak. Despite the heartache caused by her failed romance with Tythonos, Eos soon found herself falling in love with another mortal, Cephalos. Cephalos was a handsome and noble man, and the two shared a passionate love affair. However, their happiness was short-lived, as Cephalos was eventually taken away from Eos by the goddess of the dawn's own brother, the god of war Ares.